Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into some amazing hidden customization tricks you can do on your Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now don't worry, if you're not using the S25 Ultra, most of these tips also work on other Samsung Galaxy phones that support good lock and its modules. So these features will help you unlock new level of personalization, style, and even productivity on your device. So let's get started and make your phone truly yours. So feature number one is where you can increase the resolution on your photos manually. So your Galaxy Enhancer X is a Samsung's AI powered photo editing tool that allows you to manually increase the resolution of your pictures. So unlike basic upscaling, it actually adds more clarity, sharpness by analyzing the details in the photo. So here I have a screenshot, which I've taken from a website, and I just wanna go ahead and crop this image out only. However, I wanna go ahead and increase the resolution. So to do this, I can go ahead and open up the Galaxy Enhancer X app. Go ahead and open that same screenshot. Now from here, I can go ahead and use the crop button here. First, I'll go ahead and tap on crop and resize. So I'll go ahead and only crop the photo I require. So this person. Now next, I can go ahead and press done. Then I can go ahead and increase the resolution. Now here I can go ahead and increase the resolution by 2x, 3x and 4x. So since I want the best quality for my photo, I'll go ahead and choose 4x, tap done. Now this will increase the resolution on this photo. So here, as you can see, this is a before and this is after. If I go ahead and zoom in, as you can see, it has added clarity and it made your photo more sharper. So once you're happy with this, go ahead and tap on save. And now that image has been saved. So this makes old blurry and low quality photos look crystal clear. It's perfect for printing photos in large sizes without losing details. It's great for content creators who want higher quality images for thumbnails or social posts. And it works with photos taken years ago breathing new life into your gallery. Feature number two is where you can change the S Pen pointer icon. So Pentastic lets you swap out the default S Pen pointer with unique icons, adding personality and flair to your note taking or creative session. So currently, as you can see, it's a small round dot. However, you can go ahead and change this to anything you like. So there are some presets which you can choose from, and there are some custom icons which you can basically download from the internet and apply it. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, you'll go ahead and open up Pentastic. Now here, scroll down and find Pointer. So currently it's set to default. However, you can go ahead and choose from all of these presets. So you have basic a pointer, heart, some cartoon characters. If you go ahead and choose any of them, go ahead and choose your size and then tap on use. Now when you go ahead and point your S Pen on screen, you'll see that pointer. You can go ahead and choose a custom image as well from a gallery or a sticker. So this personalizes your S Pen experience, so it matches your style. It makes using your phone more fun and less monotonous. It helps you quickly identify when your S Pen is active and it adds a subtle but enjoyable visual touch to daily use. Feature number three is where you can add the S Pen sound effects. So Pantastic doesn't just stop at visuals. It can also add custom sound effects for your S Pen like a scratch sound, a pen click, or even a quirky audio tone. So here I can, when I go ahead and insert my S Pen into the phone, you'll hear a sound effect. When I go ahead and remove it, you'll hear another sound effect. So let me show you how you can do this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So first you wanna go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Here you wanna go ahead and search for any sound effects you wanna apply. So you wanna go ahead and apply two sound effects one when you're removing a pen and one when you're inserting the pen back in. So here is an example. I've just basically searched for car starting sound. So I'll go ahead and use this for my S Pen. I'll download it. Now, once that's downloaded, I can go ahead and search for another one and then I'll download this as well. Now I can go press home. I'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up Pentastic. Here, you wanna go ahead and scroll all the way down until you see sound. So currently, I've set it to a custom sound. So you wanna go ahead and swipe all the way left, find custom sound, go ahead and remove this sound. So this is a remove sound and this is insert sound. So you wanna go ahead and change this. So I'll go ahead and use the car engine to remove and the insert, I'll go ahead and use this. Now I'll tap on use. So now when you go ahead and remove the S Pen, and when I go ahead and put it back in, 
This is the sound I get when I remove and insert the S Pen. So this increases immersion when using the S Pen. It makes your writing on your device feel more realistic, almost like using paper. It's fun, creative, it stands out by customizing your S Pen audio feedback. Feature number four is where you can add custom phrases button to your keyboard. So Keys Cafe lets you add a shortcut button on your Samsung keyboard that inserts a custom phrase instantly, like your email address, your phone number, or frequently used responses. So let me show you how to add custom phrases to your keyboard. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and open up Keys Cafe. Now you want to go ahead and tap on Make Your Own Keyboard. Turn the feature on, then tap on the plus sign. And here you'll go ahead and edit this keyboard. So we'll tap on edit. And now you wanna go ahead and add custom phrases. So you wanna go ahead and find this hi button here. Now these are all the custom presets, which you can apply. Hi, sorry, good, lol, awesome, love you, OMG, oops, what's up? You can go ahead and add your very own. So I've added yo. Now I can go ahead and add this to my keyboard. So you can go ahead and hold it and drag it down to wherever you like. So I'll go ahead and add it next to my shift button here. So now when I go ahead and press the tick, give it a name. Now I'm using that keyboard, so I'll press home. Now when I go ahead and open up my Samsung keyboard, you'll see that new phrase appear on your keyboard. So you can basically quickly press the custom phrase which you created. So this basically saves time by eliminating repetitive typing. It's useful for professionals who often share contact details or formal messages. It's great for social media users who reuse hashtags or captions. This makes your keyboard more smarter and more productive. Feature number five is where you can turn on the pop-up folder. So with the home app module, you can turn any app folder into a pop-up folder that floats on your screen allowing quick access without leaving your current task. So as you can see, currently when I tap on the folder, it takes over the whole screen. I cannot see anything on my home screen now. So with the pop-up folder, you'll be able to see it. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. First, go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down, find Home Up, turn the feature on and then tap on Home Screen. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Pop-up Folder. Go ahead and turn this feature on, tap on this. Here you'll be able to choose if you want small pop-up folder, medium ones, or large. So I'll go ahead and choose small ones. I wanna go ahead and make sure that it changes according to how many icons are there, so variable sizes. I wanna position it at the central. I don't wanna hide the edit bar. And I wanna go ahead and remove the blur. So I'll tap on home. Now when I go ahead and tap on a folder, as you can see, this now opens up in a pop-up folder. So this allows me to view other icons on the home screen. So it's super efficient multitasking. You can access apps without breaking your workflow. It keeps your home screen organized while still being easily accessible. So this is great for power users who juggle messaging, work apps, or entertainment at once. Basically feels futuristic, like a mini control center, always ready at your fingertips. Feature number six is where you can show date on your status bar. So the quick start module adds more customization to your status bar, including the option to display the current date right beside the time. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down, find Quick Star. Here you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on, then tap on Clock Settings. And here you wanna go ahead and find this setting called Show Date. So go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will show the date. Now you can go ahead and choose what type of dates you want. So a day, date, and a month, or just a short form, just a day and the date, or just a day. So I want the full form, so I'll go ahead and choose the first one, I'll go back. Now I can go ahead and press home, and now my date is shown at the top status bar. So this saves me from constantly pulling down the notification shade or opening the calendar. It helps with productivity by keeping track of the day at a glance. It's small but powerful, one of those changes that make daily usage more smoother for myself. So this is great for students and professionals who rely on quick scheduling. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can add more gesture handles to your home screen. So with 100 Operation Plus module, it basically enhances your navigation by letting you add more extra gesture handles on your home screen. So this gives you more shortcut and actions right on your home screen with your fingertips. So here, as you can see, I've got 
six different handles which I can use from. Each of these handles will basically hold three actions. So here, when I go ahead and use a top left handle, I can go ahead and swipe diagonal up, right, or diagonal down, and this will basically do some particular action. So when I go ahead and swipe diagonally down, this will basically turn off the screen. If I go ahead and swipe right from the middle here, this will start AI Select. When I go ahead and swipe right again, this will give me some menus for particular apps. So let me show you how to turn on these handles on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down, find One Hand Operation Plus. Turn this feature on, and you'll see all these handles. Now, if you don't see any of these handles, you need to go ahead and turn on all these left and right handles, and you will have all these handles appear. Now to customize one of them, so let's just say, for example, this middle one here, left handle. For a straight right, you can go ahead and tap on this and you can select all of these actions. Diagonal up, diagonal down. You can even configure the long swipe. So if you want a longer swipe, you can align the handles. So you can go ahead and configure the, the touch width, the size. You can go ahead and position the handles wherever you like, and you can change the handle. So you can make it invisible or you can go ahead and give it a color so that you can see it clearly. Now you can go ahead and do this on these top handles and your bottom handles. So these are all right here. If you don't want these handles, you can go ahead and delete those handles and only keep one handle. So it's totally up to you. So this one-handed use becomes much easier, especially on big phones like the S25 Ultra. You can assign custom gestures for quick tasks like screenshots, split screen, or launching apps. And this basically increases your efficiency by reducing the need for multiple taps. Perfect for accessibility and convenience on the large display. And that's it. Some of the best hidden customization features you can unlock with GoodLock on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Remember, these features aren't limited to just S25 Ultra. Many of them work on other Samsung Galaxy devices too. So give them a try on your phone. I want to take a second to thank all of you for the amazing support. It really means the world to me. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and drop a comment below telling me which feature you're going to try first. Most importantly, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more awesome tips and tricks for your Samsung Galaxy device. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.